Right, it's a beautiful Somerset everyone. Longwood over there. Came and walked around that cornfield. Went across that greenish field there. A couple of sheep looking at me as if to say, if I were you, I'd get out of this field. From back there, I could see a big herd. But I can't see no evidence of cow pack around here. Not recent. I'm just hoping they're fenced off up there. Up there, in front of me, is the area of Outstanding Beauty, known as the Mendip Hills, with the gorse bushes and everything, and the wild ponies. And um, that leads you over to Rowbarrow Fort area, Burrington Coombe. This is a well-worn tr track I'm on. This is a public footpath which in theory is supposed to take me to a safe gate over which I can climb and get into onto a safe area there is evidence of cows in the other side of that fence there's cow pack but it did look like a huge heard we're heading down this way um, I mean I'm, for me diversions would be let me see I don't know you it's barbed wire fencing everywhere see what we used to do is um, get up here a bit then go down Oh yeah, I know, that's the wrong gate up there. That, that doesn't take you to where you've got to go. It's over in that corner we got to go. And we should see a stile. It won't be far away. Hopefully the cows don't do this, but I haven't seen them. There's no evidence. What I'm saying, why I'm so sensitive about it, and I talk about it a lot, is I was chased last year and only just managed to get out. Um, I'd been chased two years ago and near misses on other occasions. So as far as I'm concerned, if you're, there's a herd of 200 cows with a bull and they're frisky, keep away from them. Because most of them have got calves this time of year. Of course, it could be that the farmer was rounding them up for milking. So I did see a tractor earlier. And it doesn't look like they come down this way. I'm just thinking I'm going to get a shock in a minute. Right over there is my telegraph mast, my wireless masts, my reference points, and I'm on the Mendips them a lot over the last couple of weeks. They're a bit like Crook's Peak, Brent Knoll, Brain Down and Road Barrow Warren. Right over and out for a minute. It's a beautiful day. It's um the 30th of July, first time I said the date actually, 2016. And I'm not going to sing David Bowie's Hi yet until I've learnt the words. I did write them down. I forgot to bring the piece of paper in the rucksack. I'm going to do that next time. I said I wouldn't sing them again until I get the words right. Cow pack. First one I've seen. First one I've seen. And the gate is over there. There's a gate over there as well. I've got to. If I've seen the cows. So I'm just hovering a minute because there's a gate there. I couldn't. I used to go across that way actually, to that gate. What I'm doing at the moment is just seeing where those cows are gone. I got a feeling they must have been taken in for milking. So they were all gathering. There's no sign of them now and no sound of them. But they were all mooing. And there's evidence of a bit of cow pack round here. The gate's right ahead of me. 
It does look like it's fenced off a bit there though. That's really odd that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just love being out. I watched the proms last night. It's dedicated to David Bowie, the orchestra and everything. I can't remember all the names of everyone, but I'm going to record it. When it comes on again, I'm going to record it off the telly. It absolutely... I was mesmerised for several hours. I, I couldn't... I couldn't take my eyes off the television at all. And then it was followed by David Bowie films of him doing all his early stuff from say 69 to 75 I think yeah it was brilliant absolutely brilliant like I say every time I can't believe he's died he was such an intelligent genius he was beginning to merge rock and classical in a big way. He he was also he was also very good at playing different instruments himself, like the cello, violin, flute, and saxophone, of course, guitar, and he he understood music um, very very well. His whole body. His whole body was a musical score. And I think it's such a shame he died so young for this day and age. Um, but there'll be a few that will follow in that way. Some have died earlier, of course, because of the drugs, the heavy drinking, the late nights, the travelling. It pounds you. Um, it's a bit like working down the mines, only they were... <laughs> They, they ended their lives early for pleasure, if you like, doing, um, well, what seemed like pleasure. But God, if he'd had another 30 years, or even 20, or even 10 more, even five, even one, he would have created some excellence. He was just on the tip of creating new stuff. He, he just didn't want to go. He had his lovely daughter, his wife, and all his fans, and his son, and a new grandson. He had everything to live for. I'm, I mean, sometimes I just hope there is something else, because all these geniuses, well, and ordinary people, of course, everyone's got something to offer. It just ends like that. God, look, you can tell the cows come round here. Look, that's pretty fresh. Look how fresh that cow pack is. I tell you, I, I reckon he was getting them in for milking. I seen them all earlier. They were making out of a row. They've gone now, but they've been here not long ago. Oh, thank goodness, that was... See, there's a style there. I'm always tempted to try new things. When I see a style, you know, there's a style there. Where's that going, I say to myself? Probably takes you round the... No, the wireless station's there. It probably takes you down to the coombe, I would have thought, if you followed that rather than going up that way and down. But I'm not going to do it today. There's a few things I want to do around here where I, where I need to just come up here and explore over there. There's some paths actually on the area of Outstanding Beauty that I haven't explored yet. Um, but if I lived over here, I'd be up here all the time. But I am a townie as well. I do like just going out my door to the shops. I'd like to be able to just go in the Sovereign Centre or go to the bank, go to the library. You know, there's so much in benefits of being a townie and just getting the bus out here. Because sometimes when you live in an area, you don't always explore it. But I have to come out to these areas of beauty 
for my soul, my brain, oh, for my health. All right, over and out.